Hey, F with Pack Crack Fever. It is Monday, October 2nd, and we got a whole bunch of cards for mail in. Uh, start this week off, so let's get cracking. Uh, this first one comes from uh, user Fatty, a uh, user out of Hartford, Connecticut. Uh, so thank you very much, at Time Fatty, with the JFK stamp there. Sure, appreciate that. Make sure and get our trusty scissors out here. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> this is going to be my favorite sleeve I've ever gotten. <laughs> this is hilarious. Oh my gosh. I don't even care what cards are on the other side of this. This is awesome. Where the, where the hell did you get these sleeves? I need all my decks in the sleeves. Uh, so this is... Oh, I'm really excited about this. This is uh, one of the open house promos of uh, Walk the Plank and the art on this card is really amazing. I've, this is the first time I've seen my car, this card uh, in person uh, but the art on here is really cool. It's like uh, well, as soon as I saw it when they first previewed the card I said it reminds me of uh, Tales from the Black Freighter which is the comic book within the Watchmen comic book but I really love the art. I don't know if I'll ever play with this card but I wanted to place it as soon as I saw it. Look at that. Beautiful artwork. Uh, really cool card. Thank you very much. Uh, Fatty out of Hartford, Connecticut. And uh, thank you also for the awesome sleeve. I wish I had. I wish I could sleeve a whole deck and this is funny. Uh, okay. We'll get on to the next one. we got plenty to open here. Uh, this user, I, I didn't get to message him before I got here, but I don't want him to wait to get his funds on cards here. Uh, so we're going to open... Uh, this card from a trader out of Los Angeles, California. I don't mention the names unless uh, I get permission. Uh, some people will actually say no. Actually, a lot of people say no. They don't want to be mentioned. Uh, so I make sure not to do it unless I get the permission first. Uh, so this card is going to be... Uh, oh, this is going to be one of the new Ixalan cards. The Death, Death Gorge Scavenger. Uh, dinosaur. I'm kind of half thinking about uh, making a dinosaur deck or actually... I got the uh, Hascon promo set that's got that Grimlock in there, so I don't know if I actually want to do it or not, uh, but I know this one was going up in price, so I wanted to grab some before. Uh, they got prohibitively expensive, so thank you very much, Trader out of Los Angeles, California, for the Death Gorge Scavenger. Really appreciate that. Um, this uh, <coughs> next one comes from, first of all, um, his username is, is Fernando, also out of Torrington, Connecticut. Um, I have to sit and you know I always admire the penmanship look I hated writing over uh, the personal details because penmanship is just outstanding I wish I could write uh, this neatly so thank you very much uh, Fernando for the trade ahead of time in fact I that that username reminds me I know exactly what's in here uh, this is going to be some pieces for my Brago EDH deck and Fernando uh, you know, he messaged me on Cardsphere. I think he just joined uh, Cardsphere and he saw uh, just one or two cards out of my wants. And he messaged me and said, hey, I recognize a card. Are you making a Brago EDH deck? And uh, I told him, yeah. And he said he was a Brago player and he gave me some suggestions for upgrades uh, for the deck of cards that uh, he would be able to send me. And so I took him up on it. He... he Gave me a lot of uh, nice tips, a lot of great upgrades for my Brigo deck, so I'm super excited about this. Uh, you know, I just finished I just finished the deck except for one or two cards, and I'm already upgraded. There's another Walk the Plank. Uh, probably trying to get a play set of those. I really like the card. Uh, so this one's going to be uh, Reality Acid, Long Road Home, Essence Flux, Eerie Interlude, and Active Authority. So basically, these cards um, I. Usually what I do with these budget commander decks is I start... There's a YouTube channel uh, called Budget MTG Decks. That's where I start and then I upgrade the lands and stuff. Add more expensive cards to it um, to try and get... You know, help people send out those low-value cards on cards for helps if you have a 2 $3 card to kind of anchor the... Just like this, you know, with the Walk the Plank. Um, so Fernando gave me some really cool tips on the upgrading the deck. So I really appreciate that, uh, Fernando, the help uh, you gave me. Completely unnecessary. Really, really cool of you. Uh, so thank you again, and thank you for the trade. I'll make sure and confirm that uh, right away so uh, you can get your funds on cards here. 
Uh, so these next two I am really excited about also. I mean, I know I say that about every package I open pretty much. Uh, but these come from a uh, user named uh, Tech923, I think. Let me double check before I say that. I'm pretty sure his name is Tech923. Uh, but he's got a... Uh, yeah, that is Tech923. So he's got a uh, small shop in San Antonio called Drago Collectibles. And uh, he recently started using cards for he had joined a while back but never got around to really checking it out and putting time into doing some trades uh, so he the other day hopped on uh, the discord and had some really unique cards so I'm going to open these all together because I actually uh, worked out a deal with them on a bunch of these and then I went back for more because they're super cool uh, cards so let me pull these out and then you'll see what I mean by that I don't know what's on this note. So. Uh, nothing, just a little packaging, I guess. Okay, so uh, Tech93 uh, uh, went in Discord and he said he had a bunch of uh, different card alters, which looked really cool. So I picked up a bunch of them. You see, these are, these are a. Uh, his in Missouri. They uh, altered it to be completely borderless. Isn't that cool? I really love these different altered cards. Here's a Nisa. You know, some people are saying, well, that's not an altar, that's a border extension. Well, whatever. You know, it looks really, I mean, that looks like legitly, legitimately part of the art. Um, that is so neat. Look at that. Here's a command tower. Uh, you know, a must-have in any EDH deck, and I'm an EDH freak. And then here's the one that I was really interested. It looks like it's double sleeve here, so I'm going to take it out. Is this uh, Phyrexian Tower, which is altered to also be borderless. Look at that. That's going right into my Tesa EDH deck. That is so cool. Uh, really cool altars. Um, so he basically said, hey, if you take the Phyrexian Tower uh, for around what the market price is, I'll give you a discount on all the rest of them. So I, I jumped on it and uh, worked out a really good deal with him there on Cardsphere. Uh, he was in the Discord, actually. Because it's hard to, I guess, trade away this kind of stuff. Some people hate altars. They consider them damaged or... Uh, moderately played, but I really love uh, when they're done well like this. Look at that Rico of Two Reflections. Done really well. Here's a Decree of Pain. Look at that. That's a beautiful job. And he said he got these got these in a collection, and whoever uh, owned this collection before, their girlfriend was some kind of artist, and she went. I guess that's her mark there. Uh, she went and did all these altars. And that one is really great. Look at that. Uh, super cool. Here's a Wirewood Lodge. Now, see, here's one with the old border. And they kind of kept the old border but extended it kind of beyond. That is really neat. And here's the last one, Okina Temple of Grandfathers. Uh, obviously, all these are all pieces for uh, an elf deck. Uh, so maybe I'll make an elf EDH deck. I got a lot of cool uh, cards to start off on. And I don't have, I think the only elf deck that I have are, is the the Freya Lee's retail one, which I, I don't like to touch the retail ones because my friends and I get together and play retail. Uh, so here's what I got. This is just Monday. I got a bunch of stuff uh, coming to me. Uh, so here's the first day. I hope it wasn't too long, but I mean, I got like five pieces of mail in here. Uh, so this is FM with Pack Rack Fever. Hopefully we'll see you later on in the week uh, with more cards. Thanks for watching. Hey, FM with Pack Rack Fever. It's Saturday. October 7th and we got our last cards for meal in for the week so let's get cracking this one comes from user Chris Connett out of New York New York so thank you very much Chris Connett for the card he actually sent me two uh, the other one hasn't arrived yet but this is the first one and then here we have a lovely death gorge scavenger so thank you very much Chris Connett for the trade of the death gorge scavenger I was going after a place set of these, so I think this is the second of four, and I was just taped to the bottom of the thing. That's what I've never seen that before. Uh, second of four, and I think he actually sent two separately just because my funds were uh, not where they needed to be to send them together. Uh, so thanks very much, uh, Chris Connor again out of New York. And our last piece of mail for the week comes from Jake the Human out of the greater Portland, Oregon area. Thank you very much, uh, Jake the Human, a big time trader. 
Uh, interesting guy, nice guy. He hangs out on the Discord. Uh, most nights always has very interesting uh, things to say, interesting points of view, and <laughs> interesting packaging. Looks like that's pretty neat. <laughs> I like that. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> nice to finally be on your show, but I don't watch your show. But I'm on it anyways. Does this mean I don't exist? Uh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you very much, Jake. Uh, sorry about the existential crisis that my uh, show caused. And here is another Walk the Plank open house promo. I'm trying to get a play set of these. I don't know if I'll ever play with them. I just I love the art. And uh, I'm excited to get a set of these. I don't know if I'll ever use them. Maybe EDH or something. I don't know. But I just really love the art on the card. As you've seen on my other videos. And thanks a lot again, Jake. Uh, the human for the, the cool note, and I like the rap too. Uh, glad to have you on Pet Crack Fever. Uh, so we can kind of take a look at all the. Uh, I kept all my trades together, so I figure on Saturday when I film this, we can kind of go over everything I got in the week. Uh, so this is what I got this week on Cards Fair. Oh, I want to go back and also thank uh, Fernando the other day. He sent me this, and I cracked this and the other ones on camera, and I mentioned that he had suggested some upgrades for my EDH deck that he found, figured I was building. And behind the Walk the Plank, I didn't open the other two he suggested, which is a Clara Personator and Stun Double. They were stuck in there behind the uh, top loader. I didn't open them on camera. So I just want to thank uh, Fernando again for that. Uh, so thank you all the traders. Uh, this week on uh, thank you for the cards, and hopefully we'll be back next week. I do have a couple more uh, trades already committed to me, and I just got a bunch of fun, so uh, hopefully we'll have another good week. Uh, Zephyr from a pack of fear. Thanks for watching.